Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Rudner, and I'm the convener of the Community Planning and Development Program here at La Trobe University in Bendigo. So I'm in charge and responsible for the undergraduate degree, which is the Bachelor of Urban, Rural and Environmental Planning, and the Master's degree in Community Planning and Development. We also have graduate certificates and graduate diplomas as well. So what is planning? Before I get into that, I thought I'd just ask you some questions. And that is, think of some places that you'd really like to go to or that you've been to before. What did you like about them? How did you get there? How long did it take? Did you stay a few nights? Where did you stay? And did you bring your food with you or did you buy it out? Now these all seem like really basic questions, but they go to the heart of planning. Because in order for us to have the cities and towns that we do and to protect our environment and have beautiful places to visit means someone's got to organize us spatially. And that's what planners do. So we look after the infrastructures that we have, whether it's transport infrastructure, housing, commercial spaces, our heritage, and even our social and cultural planning in terms of arts and culture and sporting events and what we can do to make ourselves feel healthy and connect with each other as a community. So in our program, we study all of that. We look at mega cities, we look at small towns, population demographics, uh, and we also look at master planning, metropolitan planning. We specialize in rural and regional planning. And that hits to ideas like food security and climate change. And what does it mean for our future? How are we going to create the places we want to live in? And how will we ensure that we have access to all that we need and we can thrive? Why would you study planning at La Trobe University? Well, we have an experiential based learning program. So that means you'll be working on live projects from your first year onward for local government councils, community and private industry. All of our staff are professionals as well as academics. So we continue our research through consultancies. We also have sessional staff who teach into the program and they're professionals from private industry, local government, state government, and they share their networks with you as well as their vast knowledge. In addition, we have a really strong Plan B Student Association. They're so excited about planning that they even do planning projects on their own time. In fact, they're so good, they even win Planning Institute of Australia awards and commendations for the work they do. So we have an award-winning staff and students. So why wouldn't you want to study with us? So what sort of things will you study with us? Well, you look at the history and development of cities over time, and that means also looking at our people from Aboriginal heritage and culture through to Western European and our new migratory demographics. You also look at what this means for master planning, metropolitan planning, precinct planning, and we'll explore really important issues like climate change and food security. For us, we're a regionally based program in a fantastic regional city, so we specialize in rural and environmental planning. Where will our future solar or wind power go? Probably in our areas. So we'll be considering things like that. We'll also be looking at agricultural land use change. What happens when the city keeps growing? And what happens in our peri-urban areas? Are we really willing to lose our agricultural land? These are really important decisions that we have to face. Really importantly, planners frame the problems that we need to actually address. And what I mean by that is if you take something like a transport issue, do we have congestion because we don't have enough roads or do we have congestion because we need a better functioning public transport system? And if it's the latter, how do we deal with that in a time of COVID when people need to have social distancing? Suddenly you're grappling with issues of design, policy, movement, mobility, and the very essence of how we function as a society. So you can't just learn that out of a book or through lectures. That's why we have such hands-on learning experiences, whether it's in Bendigo, Shepparton, Mildura, Albury Wodonga, and Melbourne. We go to actually see how the places function so we can learn from them. And we develop plans and strategies for what the future might be. And you might even want to go overseas to study, either for a semester or on one of our short study tours. So we have Colombo plan funding from the Australian government for students to go to India and study smart cities and Pune and other areas with one of our staff members. And in the past, I've gone to the Philippines with students to study indigeneity and human rights law. So there are so many opportunities that you can get from a place like Bendigo and here at La Trobe in our planning program. Bendigo is a really progressive regional city. So it's connected with Vancouver through La Trobe and the council via our city studio subject. 
where students will spend a few weeks working with councils in the community to identify new ideas for how the city can function and to test those ideas. And many of their ideas end up being part of council policy. And so students over time will get to see the actual change that they were starting to create as they were students and studying with us. So why would you come to Bendigo? Well, aside from that opportunity, you have great access to natural parkland. There's a lot of sporting facilities. If you're into arts and culture, we have one of the best art galleries. We get exhibitions that go to Tokyo, Moscow, New York. They skip Melbourne and Sydney, and they come here. We're only two hours from Melbourne by train, which means even if you only come up to study rather than stay here, you can work uh, and use that time efficiently. Bendigo has an amazing gold rush history. So not only that, when you're walking through the streets, you can see the heritage lined up in these grand buildings from that time. And we also have a Chinese museum. And that Chinese museum holds artifacts that exist nowhere else in the world. And that heritage still continues today. We have the longest Chinese dragon in the world. And the dancers and the Chinese society perform every year at the Easter parade and at other events. So we have a jazz and blues festival. We have all of these amazing things that any metropolitan city can offer. But really, it only takes about 10 minutes to get around. And if you're like me and prefer riding your bike and spending more of your time doing the things that you enjoy, it's the perfect size to not only work, make friends and study, but to really explore what you're going to do with your future and how you're going to make it better for others. So it'd be really great to see you join our program. You can contact the Future Students team at La Trobe, just look it up on the website, or just look up our program directly. Give me an email if you want and I can answer any questions that you have. Because one thing that we offer that is so much better than everyone else is a personal service. Because when you're with us, we really look after all of our mutual development because we learn together, we work together, and we reach out to our communities. And because of that, we make a real difference, not only in our own lives and those of our friends, but to complete strangers and for people who will live in the cities that we create in the future. And I'd love for you to be part of that. Thank you.